This is going to be a quick video on changing the uh, coolant catch can on a uh, Chevy Express. So uh, sometime in the mid 2000s or late 2000s they started to make a uh, smaller catch can that works better. So this vehicle, when you back into this driveway, go over this bump, it jostles the uh, tank and the, the coolant flows up here and out the uh, overflow and basically what happens is it pours down the front of your radiator and onto your uh, lower rad hose and it makes it look like you've got some kind of coolant leak and uh, you're constantly trying to maintain the coolant level in this thing but it's you're not leaking anything per se it's just kinda running out the overflow so the uh, upgraded tank has some passageways on it to prevent that from happening so the coolant has to come up here and down because there's no baffle on the original tank so this is a dormant part here 603078 and it fits right up to the 2020 model vans so to take this out you need a flat screwdriver you need a 10 millimeter ratchet and uh, so this here comes to the top of the radiator cap. So if you overheat your machine, it's going to come out and go into here. And then when it cools off, it's going to get drawn back in. This hose here goes down to your thermostat housing. And it's on the pressure side of the radiator cap. So just don't touch this one. You don't want to do anything to harm yourself. So do this job when it's cold and it's easier. So to save losing any coolant, you can kind of just tilt this back and uh, you can pour it into the new jug just uh, doing that. So I'm going to do that off camera and then we'll uh, have to shorten this hose because it's going to connect on this side and then preferably you probably want like five feet of overflow hose so it can hang down like past your radiator so that you know where the coolant is coming from if you lose any. So I'll get that started now. So we've got the two tanks out now. So you can see side by side that uh, one is significantly different size than the other. But uh, the old one's all wasted space so it doesn't really matter. You're not actually going to have much difference in uh, coolant. Well, it's hard to stop it from dripping. But uh, you'll have a bit more space uh, work in the engine bay to reach down to the uh, belts for example or the air conditioning and fiddle around. So I just uh, got this hose off to the side here and we'll cut this down when we get to the point of uh, hooking it up. Alright so that's the end result there. It's probably a good time to change your rad cap as well. Just the 15 psi job there. So you want to have this hose as short as reasonable so you don't put a kink in it because that will affect refilling the uh, tank and the radiator back forth. And this uh, hose now has a clip and you won't be able to see it more than likely, but it hangs down past the lower radiator hose now. So, and it hangs in a good spot so it doesn't give you like a false indication as to what's going on. So that's a pretty simple video, so thank you for watching.